It's surprising how many patients come in and never inquire about what type of implant we're going to use. You'd never buy a set of tires without asking what brand they are. There are two major American companies and that's all we use are the American brands. And the reason for that is even though they're more expensive, some surgeons will use cheaper foreign implants and pocket the difference. We don't cut corners here. The advantages of the American companies, they're always going to do business here and they have strong warranties that are actually going to mean something if you have a problem in the future. Of course, the other issue that brings the most angst to patients is what size are we going to be? Because that's the most easily controlled variable in this operation. I have a good feeling, and I'm right 95% of the time, what a patient ultimately wants just by listening to her goals. But what's really changed in the last two years is we actually offer a sizing bra and let patients see the actual implants, put them in the sizing bra to get an idea of what size they're going to be. We also have a three-dimensional digital scanner, which will actually project to a patient on her own body image, on a 3D appearing screen, what change she can expect with the different size implants. And the difference now is the patient has the comfort of having picked her own breast implant size rather than depend on me. Prospective patients often ask what kind of implant we're going to use. The overwhelming majority of patients in my practice opt for a traditional round implant. That gives the superior fullness to the breast that most are looking for, as well as augmenting the total size. When I'm discussing breast implants with patients, they want to know whether I should go with saline or silicone. My personal opinion is the silicone is a superior product. When they ask why, I would point out that the only downside is the silicone implants are more expensive than the saline, so it is an issue for the patient to consider. So why would a patient pay more for the silicone? Well, in the first place, uh, the silicone feel like breast tissue. It is difficult to tell where the implant starts and stops versus the breast tissue, as opposed to saline which is more like a water balloon feel. Now I will tell you that women who've never had either implant are going to be happy with either. But once you've felt the difference, the silicone is clearly a more natural feel. I was reaching my um, 50th birthday and I just felt the need to have something done for myself that would just perk me up and um, boost my confidence. So I came to see Dr. Wilcox and he very quickly became my best friend. <laughs> He's just, I'm just so comfortable with him and Monica um, just from the get-go. They are just uh, very easy to talk to, just very down to earth and and he is, he listens to what uh, what you're expecting, what you're wanting. I just felt completely at ease, comfortable, and I still do. I mean, when I talk to him, I just always stop at his office when I come in and just check in on him and see how he's doing and remind him that I'm his number one fan. 